but we want to say thank you to veterans. We also want to say thank you to so many of you at home. Randy made an announcement last night on our 10 o'clock news and on social media about his health that I'll let him talk about a little bit. But we just want to show you, I mean, the outpouring of love and support on social media for Randy and his family has been really amazing. Well, I appreciate it very much. Uh, last night I announced that I have cancer again. I've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And uh, I'm going to begin that journey uh, this week. And uh, how long it's going to last and what uh, it involves, I'm not really sure at this point. But I know that I've got a battle ahead, just like I did 20 years ago when I was diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. So um, I appreciate the support and I appreciate the love. I've got a great support system. And um, I think everything's going to be just fine. I will say this, men. Men wear gowns is an important thing. You have to go get your physicals, because that's how this was found in me. Uh, it's been caught early, and I'm lucky, but that doesn't happen unless you go get your physicals and follow through with your doctors. Well, not only has there been a lot of support for you and for your family and in this new journey you're going on, but it also has raised a lot of questions from people about prostate cancer. And Camille Williams went and spoke with some doctors today about exactly what it is and what the symptoms are. Your prostate is an organ. Minnesota urology surgeon Dr. Peter Sershan has seen thousands of prostate cancer patients. It's a gland cancer, very similar to breast or colon cancer, and it's the most common cancer in men. It is so common that the Prostate Cancer Foundation estimates that one in eight men will be diagnosed with it in their lifetime. To survive prostate cancer, you need to be screened for it. When people think about cancer, they always wait for symptoms to come along. Prostate cancer, just like colon cancer and breast cancer, are mainly cancers that need to be screened for. You do not want to have symptoms before it's diagnosed. If you're symptomatic from it, you probably have incurable disease. Some of those warning signs, he says, include pain in the lower back or hip area that won't go away. Dr. Sershan also says no one knows what causes prostate cancer, but says it typically happens in older men. Two groups of people most at risk, men with a family history of prostate cancer and African-American men. For these men, he says screening, which includes a prostate check and a PSA blood test, should begin at age 40. So if you catch it early, 10-year survival is usually 100%, which is unusual in cancer. Uh, and just to emphasize another point, just because you have prostate cancer doesn't mean it needs to get treated. We've been very fortunate in the last few years we've had some advances in technology that can lead us to actually predict which guys may never need to treat their prostate cancer. So there's literally guys that don't need to treat it and there's guys that we don't catch soon enough to do enough for them. Dr. Sir Sean says he can't emphasize enough that getting screened early detection could save your life. Camille Williams, CARE 11 News. And coming up at 6.30, I had a chance to sit down with Janice Shortle and talk a little bit more about my situation, and that's on Breaking the News coming up tonight at 6.30. And just like you, though, you're already saying, men, go get screened because you make it about helping other people through their cancer journey. So we love you, Appreciate and we're going to be with you every step of the way. Thank you. Let's head out to uh, Golden Valley now. Carla Holt has a look at our today's headlines. Hi, Carla. Hello to all of you. And just to echo that, yes, we are all with you, Randy.